Hi, so today we will have a look at what is probability and how is probability calculated. Now first of all what is probability? Probability is nothing but it is the chances of occurrence of a particular event. So what are the chances of an event that will occur? For example, uh, the probability that a person lives for 500 years. So you can see the chances that a person lives for 500 years is probably zero, right? There is no person chance, there is zero person chance that a person lives for 500 years. So the probability can be said to be zero, okay? If you look at another statement, uh, what is the probability that in a flip of a coin, the outcome will be a head, okay? So the coin has two sides, one is the head, other is tail, right? So the chances of getting a head is 50%, 50% head, 50% tail, okay? So the answer is 50%. Now, the chances of occurrence can be expressed in the terms of probability. First, we need to understand that probability is always expressed in the scale from 0 to 1, okay? 1 means the 100% chances of occurrence, 0 means 0% 0 chances of occurrence, okay? So in this case, it is 50% chances of occurrence of head. 50 percent that is 50 upon 100 that gives you 1 by 2. So half is the probability of the coin showing us head and half is the probability of coin showing tail. Okay. Now we we'll look at some more complicated questions. If I look at this question, um, a coin is tossed twice. What is the probability of getting at least one head? Now in this question, we will look at two few more terms how exactly the question is represented. Now, a coin is tossed twice. So, we will make a set of different events that could occur. For example, if I see if a coin is tossed twice, you can see there are chances that both the times head occurs. There is a chance that first time it is head, the second time it is tail. There is a chance that the first time it's tail, the second time it's head, and there's another chance that both the times it shows tail, right? These are the only four possibilities. Now, the set of all these possible outcomes is denoted by S, which is called as a sample space, okay? So, what is the sample space? It is a set of all possible outcomes. Now, after this set, our event what is the thing which has been asked to us? That is the event. The event is that at least one head shows up. At least one head. You can see there are three different type of events where it has at least one head. Head tail, tail head and two heads. Right? At least one. One or more than one head. So there are three different events where we have at least one head. So we write this event as A and we represent and we say that N of A can be written as 3. Now the probability is given by the simple term, simple formula you can say N of A upon N of S that is 3 upon 4. So 3 by 4, there is 3 fourth chance, 3 by 4, if I convert it into percentage multiplied by 100, there is 75 percent chance that at least one head occurs, okay. So this is how a simple probability is calculated. These are different terms. This is a sample space, it's an event and finally we have a probability, okay? Now we'll have a look at some more examples. In this example, three coins are tossed and we have to find the probability that at least one tail occurs. Now three coins are tossed, so the number of possible outcomes, it's possible that all the time it comes heads or we can say two heads and one tail and so on. So the sample space of all possible outcomes will look like this. The number of elements in the sample space is eight. Okay. Now, we need to find the probability that at least one tail occurs. So, we will define an event A which contains all the possible outcomes which contains at least one tail. 
So the set A can be written as like this. These are all the possible outcomes from the sample space which contains at least one tail. So number of total outcomes is 7. So we can say n of A is equal to 7. So the probability of event A, the probability that at least one tail occurs is found out by n of A upon n of S that is 7 upon 8.